Hi, my name's Danny Fleming of the MA Properties team. So this topic is going to be on who determines the price. Now, I don't mean who determines the market value of the home and what home, you'll sell, home will sell for. I'm meaning who determines the price of what to bring your home on the market at. It's basically you. You determine the price. Um, it's your home. It's your, your price, your, your price that you want to bring it on the market at. So there's a couple of things. How do you f sort of figure out where the price could be around? Well, that's where your listing agent, um, the person that's going to help you sell your home, is, plays a major part. And it depends on the quality of the listing agent as to how much help you get from um, the listing agent. Some agents will just look at you and say, hey, what price do you want to sell your home for? And you pick a price out of the air. More often than not, that's going to be wrong. Um, you know, that's, that's what just some agents do. Um, some agents will give you a basic printout of some listings from MLS and pretty generic um, yeah, I think you probably sell them for more than that. Yeah, no, and that's your market analysis. We do a thorough market analysis, which gives you, it, it helps to have you understand what the market value is and uh, gives you a range of where I believe your market, um, market value is, or what uh, the value your home should sell for. So then you've got the choice um, at that point in time of what price to come on at. Even though you've got the market value range for home, you can still come on at any price you want. Our recommendation, strong recommendation, is to realistically price. You know, come on somewhere within the market value range and depending on the price point of the home, come on near the lower end of that market value range. Um, if, if you price too high, um, then this is what happens. Let's say your the fair market value is this dotted line here. What's going to happen if you come on the market up here, the buyers know what the value of your home is because they've been to homes week after week after week after week in their price range and they know what's right. They know what a good, you know, what a, a, a realistic um, price is. If you price too high, they're either not even going to come and see it or they're going to come and see it once and then dismiss it and even though it still appears in their search um, for a home, day after day after day, they just they just don't even pay any attention to it. So the only buyer at that point in time you have is someone who's newly coming into the market um, to buy in that price range. And those buyers typically take a few months before they get comfortable with the pricing and spot something that they want to buy. And don't forget, if they come in and see your home and you're still priced up here and they come in and even if they love the home they're going to think I really like the house but nobody else is buying it at this price what's wrong with it what are they seeing and I'm missing no no so it, the fact that you've been on the market for a long period of time turns the buyers off as well and those new entry um, buyers will not make a move on it because they know that it's been sitting on the market for that period of time. So then you need to do a price adjustment and you're stale on the market. It's really not going to make much of a difference. Even there was a home last year that dropped $220,000 in one hit. Nothing happened. Um, they dropped it another 50,000 after that, they dropped it another 50,000 after that, and it came off the market, um, it came off the market uh, 11 months later, unsold. 
came back on the market again the following spring well below what their initial asking price was but they still got well below that. This is the impact of pricing too high because you can adjust the price, adjust the price, you can adjust the price well below the fair market value for your home of what it was when you first came on the market but because the buyers it's still stale mm, it might get the attention of a couple who sort of think hmm maybe that's good value now maybe we should go and see it <clears throat> but because it's been on the market for a period of time mm, they're going to they're going to make a discount um, you know they're going to require a discount um, off the the, um, the list price. So here's another graphic of what happens. Um, this is a graphic of the impact of days on the market to the sale price to list price ratio. Here's a hundred percent. A home will sell for the most the highest price the within the first week of it being on the market, the first four or five days of it being on the market. The longer it's on the market, this is what happens. And this is real data. This is what happens to the home. It will gradually get less and less and less sale price to list price ratio. So who depend, who, who determines the price? It's your call, your decision as to who, who um, makes uh, decides that price but you've got to actually understand the ramifications of both ways of doing it. Um, if you price realistically, you will sell within the first week of the home coming on the market, typically. Um, if you overprice, you could be on the market for months and you'll end up getting less than market value for the home. But it's still your call. Um, so anyway, look, I can talk about this stuff, but for a long time. So if you want to chat more about it, more than happy to chat. Um, just uh, give me a call or email and um, happy to help. And make sure you make a smart decision. Um, that's, that's an important criteria in um, our tagline, which is smart moves made here.